technology has led to a major change in which we treat our patients. Earlier, many decisions were based on our gut feel, our instinct, our experiences, but now it is like mathematics. When we work on you know, systems like cardiac cath lab and imaging systems like intravascular ultrasound, OCT, everything, and we can exactly define as to what is the exact site of blockage, what kind of strength we can use, what size of the devices we can use, and we can accurately measure inside the heart by these technological advancements. So this is what we call as precision intervention. Lifestyle is actually a very, very important thing as far as the heart disease is concerned because our physical activity has gone down, our stress levels have gone up, our food habits have changed. Then, of course, you know, the pollution, which is also affecting our body, and then increased incidence of diabetes which is happening because again because of lifestyle changes, again because of lack of physical activity and smoking is also one very important thing which plays a role in occurrence of heart diseases. If we control our lifestyle, if we go to a healthy lifestyle, there is a 90% chance that we are able to avoid heart diseases without any treatment. We are actually looking at how to make the patient as quickly mobile, as quickly active as possible. And for that, we have to identify these patients early and treat them early. So when we start talking of that, we are also looking at the, you know, the possibility how we can detect disease even before it strikes. But now we are talking of a wellness, not we are not talking of illness. So wellness means that we are treating the disease beforehand. We should not miss the opportunity Missing the opportunity means missing the beat, which means that you know you are really hurting your heart. So you have to protect your heart yourself, you get yourself checked in time, get yourself treated in time, and stick to your treatment. Good, maintain a good healthy lifestyle, you will be fine.